Why I think he's still here for 25 years? Because ain't nobody do it like that in 25 years. You know, I love a Drake. I love J. Cole. I love all. I, I love a lot of new artists, but it's nothing like B.I. It's nothing like that. He's still saying lines. He's still got lines you're still catching today. I'm trying to put 700s. They ain't made them yet. They ain't make a 700 yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, no, the man is like, it's rhymes that still sound like today. That could go up against any rapper bars today. That's just different kind of music. It's different kind of energy. And I think the blessing of him with the footage, you know, D-Rock having this footage, I think that also helped too. You see these documentaries, you get to just see him personality-wise. And you get to hear him talk and you get to hear his mind state and what he was thinking about, how he was doing shit. I think that just add on to it where it's like, yo, because you get to see the transition, not just hear it, you get to see it. You know, you watch a documentary, you see him go from the fatigues with the BDK, Big Daddy Kane, Scarf and the thing to the Coogee, the Kango, <laughs> the Pinky. You know what I mean? Like you actually watch his life change and you watch what he did for us. You watch what he did for Un. Boy was 24 years old and got married. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just think it was, it's just, I think it's just everything about him all in one, but the music is just timeless music. You know, if you could turn his music on after 25 years, that's crazy. Like, you turn on Hypnotize, it still rocks the same way 25 years ago. Don't want a story to tell. People gonna still, like, it's just certain things that's just meant to be that way. I just think just music-wise, if you want to judge it on music, the music was just immaculate. It was just timeless. Who was making records like me and my bitch? Telling a story about you and your chick. Who's making a record about missing you? Talking about like, like he, you know, them type of songs and shit, storytelling and content, they're meant to last. They're meant to outlast mm -hmm. the average. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's something to it. It's something that you're going to live with. Like, yo, man, I went through that shit before. I could say I went through that at 44. A kid 24 could be going through something like that now. And like, yo, nah, that big song, man, I'm actually going through that right now. I'm only 24. You know what I mean? Like, nah, I wasn't even alive. I wasn't even born when he was talking about this shit. But that song resonated because my father played, because my uncle played. You know what I'm saying? Or I hear it on the radio. Or you go on, you know, social media too. You know what I mean? They won't let it die. You know what I'm saying? Like, you go on social media, you seeing big pictures, seeing big done over. Look at Halloween. You see all these Kim do overs and big do overs and Tupac do overs. It's just like, I think social media just kind of brung their, their life back in here too. You know, especially with the frivolous shit going on. It makes you look and go, Damn, boy, all this corny shit going on right now. I wish a Tupac and a Biggie was here right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Because it's just so much corniness, so much fakeness that it made you just appreciate them more, especially if they was talking about, you know what I'm saying? You know, they was really just like putting down musically. Like, so I just think the music is just timeless shit that people going to never get over. I think as time goes on, it's, it's still going to get better and better. Well, I'm going to tell you something, C's. Um, you know, I appreciate you. I love the stories. No you know, doubt. thanks for really coming in here and sharing, man, and giving us so much insight into what it was like living through this amazing time in hip hop history. No doubt. So Sean I appreciate you, you, my you, brother. You was there for a lot of it, bro. So I came through I, for you, man. I appreciate you, man. Shout out to Black TV, man. Y'all doing great things on this site, man. And just keep it up and keep representing, bro. I appreciate you all the time, fam. One love, brother. One love, baby. You know what?